Twitter, Wrestling Observer Live, Mike Subravivi, also of WrestlingObserver.com. On Sunday's post takeover, Observer Radio, Dave Meltzer reported Samoa Joe has taken a behind the scenes job with NXT. It also could include becoming the on screen NXT GM. I was told Samoa Joe was in a regal like role. All of a sudden, he's stepping down, Meltzer said. Adding, if the 53 year old regal is indeed done, the 42 year old Joe is the favorite to replace him. Joe rep- uh, released from WWE in April. Two years of his tenure was in NXT, won the title twice before being called up to the main roster. So, a lot of people, oh, ah, may you see the chat this, this morning. Oh, re- Joe made a horrible decision. What a terrible businessman. Bro, you guys don't know nothing about what's going on with Samoa Joe, okay? I don't know if this guy can wrestle again. And if he can wrestle, then the chances are he's got a very limited number of matches left, all right? He was released by WWE from his main roster contract. I don't know what they were paying the guy, but they were paying him a wrestler's salary, and he could not get cleared to wrestle. Obviously, if they're looking at cutting costs for whatever reason, then he's being cut from that contract. He has now been offered a contract to come back to NXT and also be an on-screen character for NXT. Is he going to make as much as he was making before? No, probably not. When he goes to talk to Impact, New Japan, AEW, let's say the guy can't wrestle. Or let's say the guy has limited wrestling matches left in him. How much is this guy going to be offered? I don't know how much he's going to be offered, okay? But if he goes to NXT, he has the opportunity to be an on-screen character where he is going to make more than a Steve Carino, most likely, who's just doing a backstage role. And he potentially has a job largely for the rest of his life. I mean, he's he's certainly not going to have to worry about this company going out of business anytime soon. They could lose every TV deal they had, and they've still got enough money to last for a considerable period of time. And they're not going to lose their TV deals, by the way. But the point is, there's there's clearly a reason that Samoa Joe made the move that he made. And I don't think the reason is, he's a bad businessman. I know you would love to see the Samoa Joe of 2005 running roughshod in AEW, but it isn't 2005. It's 2021. And I'm sure that he made what he felt was the best decision based on the circumstances that he knows about that, in fact, the fans do not know about. So give the guy a break. Yeah, well, it's, it's, you don't... You're a fan of the person. You don't know... You, you don't live inside their head. You don't live inside their house. You don't see their bank account. You don't see their bodies. It, all of those sorts of things. They all... You know, quality of life. It's like Nakamura when Nakamura came over and people are going nuts. It's like, what? <laughs> he already gave his body and all of his classics to New Japan. If he wants to come to America and, and be in a state without, you know, I don't think there's federal or state income tax there, right? You know, as he surfs every day on the beach and works one day a week, sometimes not even one day a week, you know, okay. You know, Keith Lee, and I know how people want to see Keith Lee out of there. And yeah, they have not used Keith Lee well at all. If I'm not mistaken, because I don't keep up with wrestlers' personal lives all that much, but I remember seeing pictures of he and Mia Yim. I guess he they had gotten engaged or they had gotten married or something like that. And there's a Tesla. They're at Disneyland. They're this and this, and it's like, you know, that's why people go and they, they sign with WWE, the security, that paycheck. Yeah, artistically, maybe, especially for you, the fan at home, you're not getting what you want out of these people. But, like, this is a business, and this is their life, and there's a lot that factors into that, you know, without, like, where can we see the next classic somewhere? You know what I mean? I would rather see Samoa Joe. I've seen enough. I've seen enough from him inside the ring where if this dude can get a job for the rest of his life and try to influence and impact younger people that come along. I mean, think about that 15 years ago. Do you ever believe you would be saying that about him or Adam Pierce or Steve Carino or you pick the name? from way back when and look at the position they may be in could you have said that 15 years ago would you ever believe wwe would be making people like that possibly lifetime you know employees or not lifetime employees but long-term employees 
you know, so uh, look again, bottom line is you're not inside their lives and not everything has got to do with the action inside the ring. The, argue, the argument now is now shifted to, yeah, but he could be fired again. Oh, no. So oh, you know what? Be fired I, I, have, I have no job right now. I'm going to pursue a job, but I'm not going to pursue that job because maybe I'd be unemployed at some point. If I, Bruh. Well, I'm unemployed now. Bruh. God and Mother Nature can fire you tomorrow. Dude, so he could be fired from best. AEW. He could be fired from you Impact. Do what's best for he could be you fired from the right grocery now. store. He could be grocery fired store. from anywhere. Who in the world... Joy, uh, except jealous. an unemployed person goes, oh, I have a job opportunity, but I'm not even going to apply because maybe if I get it, I could someday get fired. <laughs> Cut me off my that, benefits. That right there is how you decide whether or not... Uh, get out of here. <laughs> Bro, if you want him to go to AEW or Ring of Honor or Impact, well, he goes to WWE, and if he gets fired, maybe he could go there. You'd prefer the guy's unemployed than go somewhere where he could end up unemployed again? <laughs> well, yeah. That's every job. <laughs> Any other dumb arguments about Samoa Joe's life? Let the guy make his own decisions. He's a grown man. Crying this out loud. Be he's a bad businessman. Oh, bad yeah. Business you know what man. I've learned about Samoa Joe over the last... He really is, he's really has proven yeah. to me to be a bad business person, having worked uninterrupted in wrestling for over two decades now, which yeah. is more than I could say for a lot of people that have gotten into wrestling. How about you? Open up your books, you know, Ball Bag 432 or whatever your name is on the chat. Open up your books and, like, you know, compare them to Joe's and talk about business, okay? If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.